about to, ooh, you gon' ooh. 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 Hey, check it out. Check it out. We gonna have a story time. We gonna have a story time. Hey. Hey. Cause this what this is what's going on, man. Uh I got a guest coming on at 4 p.m. today, so that's in two hours. So that's gonna be the real episode. So right now what I'm doing is I'm gonna fill in this with some crucial, some crucial story time. Some story time. You know how back back in the day in elementary school you used to have story time? Except this one gonna save your life. <laughs> this story time ain't gonna feed you lies. This story time ain't gonna try to program you with some repetitive dogma that you're gonna follow and carry on into adulthood. Like, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, I'ma eat some lamb. Mary had, or, or some old, or some old, uh, uh, <laughs> old McDonald had a farm, so I'ma eat a cow. And on this farm, he had a chicken. And I'm going to eat some chicken. It's not that kind of story time. We ain't going to do that today. This book... <laughs> um, this book is called Shut Your Mouth and Save Your Life. And again, it's a, it's a book written in the 1800s. Like so many of the groundbreaking books that are out right now. They weren't written this century. <laughs> they weren't written this century. Uh... Because we've been brought down. We've been brought down mentally. See, so when you read books from the 1800s, it wakes you up to the truth that we have been brought down already. There ain't no apocalypse. We look back at history and see that the apocalypse has happened. That's what you wake up to when you read books from the 1800s. You realize, God damn, these motherfuckers were sharp. Sharp like a motherfucking knife. Sharp like, look, it's very, it's very common sense, and the, it's very plain English, but sharp like a knife. These, these authors from the 1800s, aka the people that lived 200 years ago. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I, Nikki, what, what you, what you asking? Nikki, what, what do you mean? What, fruit, crystals, kundalini? Is that what you want to talk about? You want to talk about fruits, crystals, and kundalini? I'm down to talk about fruits, crystals, and kundalini for a whole hour. We can fucking do it. Because it's all the same thing. You want to talk about fruits, crystals, and kundalini? It's the same thing. The crystals tune you into the energy that you're already emanating. So a crystal can help you tune and, and change your frequency at will based on what's the crist crystals resonating. All right? The fruits allow you to tune your energy faster because fruits are higher frequency. The, the water in the fruit hydrates your glands, enabling you to shift frequencies higher or lower faster. So if you eat the fruit and you fuck with the crystal, you're going to fuck get the kundalini. Oh, the topic is, it's a post-it. It's posted right there. The topic of the day, it's, it's, it's pinned. That's why I'm wondering why you, why you don't know. The topic is called shut your mouth and save... I'm not telling you to shut your mouth. I'm not being rude. I'm saying the topic is called shut your mouth and save your life by George Carlin, 1890. And it's going to be story time today. We're going to play story time. You know, like, like elementary school. We're going to play story time. <laughs> You ready, Nikki? Is you ready for story time? Wait, when, Nikki, when you ready, we gonna start A. <laughs> Alright, so this is a book by George Car Carlin. It's story time. Its book is called Shut Your Mouth and Save Your Life. <clears throat> if man's unconscious existence for nearly one third of the hours of his breathing life depends from one moment to another upon the air that passes through his nostrils and his response during those hours and his bodily health and enjoyment between them depend on the soothed and tempered character of the currents that are passed through his nose, nose to his lungs. How mysteriously intricate in its construction and Im important in its function is that feature? And how disastrous may be the omission in the education which sanctions a departure from the full and natural use of this wise arrangement. Now, goddamn, if that wasn't the most succinct and descriptive sentence, that I, that was one fucking sentence, ho. Look, <laughs> that was one sentence, and he laid it out. He laid out what I be trying to say in hours. Like, I be trying to say shit in, like, look at my language. English is slow. I be trying to say shit in, like, three hours. He laid it out in one sentence. Basically, what he said was... 
if our life depends on the current of air that's going through our nostrils and our ability to regulate that current, it, 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 it's crazy that we would depart from the full and total education of that, especially when we're young. You see, as kids, we go through so much shit and we have no knowledge of the ability to regulate our vibration and our heart rate and our hormones via our breathing. And if our life depends on our ability to soothe the current of air that comes between our nostrils, I think that it should be like kindergarten. Kids, we're going to learn how to breathe through our nose. Kids, it's deep belly breathing time. What do we have instead at kindergarten? Kids, it's nap time. Kids, it's snack time. Kids, it's play time. They ain't telling us. Kids, it's sit and breathe time. We move forward. When I have seen a poor Indian woman in the wilderness lowering her infant from the breast and pressing its lip together as it falls asleep in its cradle in the open air and afterwards looked into the Indian multitude for the results of such a practice, I have said to myself, glorious education, such a mother deserves to be the nurse of emperors. And when I have seen the careful, tender mothers in civilized life covering the faces of their infants, sleeping in overheated rooms with their little mouths open, gasping for breath, and afterwards looked into the multitude. I have been struck with the evident evil and lasting results of this incipient stage of education and have been more forcibly struck and shocked when I have looked into the bills of mortality, which I believe to be so frightfully swelled by the results of this habit, thus contra- contracted and practiced in contravention to nature's design. What he is saying is that we are so divorced from nature when he looks at the tribal way they breathe that the, the children fall asleep outside for fresh air and we sleep inside and we call ourselves civilized he is saying it is a sad state of affairs that our education system has got us to where they have educated they've educated us into these homes with this artificial air and this air conditioning with these covers and blankets which uh, al- don't allow your skin to breathe and your body to breathe and they educate us and they don't tell us about nasal breathing and how vital it is that the nasal passage Filter out the air. Filter out the air. There is no animal in nature except man that sleeps with mouth open. And with mankind, I believe the habit which is not natural is generally confined to civilized communities where he is nurtured and raised amidst enervating luxuries and unnatural warmth, where the habit is easily contracted but carried in practice with great danger to life in different latitudes and different climates and in sudden changes of temperature, even in his own house. The physical um, confirmation of man alone affords sufficient proof that this is a habit against instinct. The physical, the physical conformities of man alone affords sufficient proof that this is a habit against instinct. So just the way that we're constructed lets you know that breathing through your mouth is unnatural. Okay, the construct. Okay, uh, let me let me read on. To sleep with his mouth to. The, the physical confer formation of man alone affords sufficient proof that this habit ag- against instinct and that he was made like the other animals to sleep with his mouth shut, supplying the lungs with vital air through the nostrils, the natural channels, and a strong cor- corroboration of this fact is to be met with amongst the North American Indians who strictly adhere to nature's law in this respect and show the beneficial results. So this guy t- spent time with the American Indians. He spent a significant amount of time with the American Indians which you could do when before we killed them. <laughs> well, I mean, we didn't kill them. We put them on reservations and programmed them, just like we programmed everybody else. But before, they had tribes where you could go kick it with them in the 1800s, you know, before we just wiped out everyone. Or, oh, sorry, we didn't wipe them out. We just brought them on the reservations and gave them TV and beer, just like they did with the rest of us. Don't worry, I'm not ragging on anybody. That's the American way. That's what we do, okay? We do it to all the tribes, all the tribes, all the countries, we give you TV and beer. That's what they did to Philippines too. Don't trip. <laughs> okay, let's move on. The savage infant, like the offspring of the br- breathing, the natural and wholesome air. Je- so when he says the savage, he's talking about the natural tribal infant. Like the offspring of the brute, which is the native, the native indigenous adult. 
Breathing the natural and wholesome air generally from instinct closes its mouth during its sleep, and in all cases of exception, the mother rigidly and cruelly, if necessary, enforces nature, nature's law in the manner ex exclaimed until the habit is fixed for life, meaning the indigenous tribes will shut the mouths of the children and force them to breathe through their nose. The indigenous tribes will shut the mouths of the children and force them to breathe through their nose. Now, let me tie in here what the missing link is. Um, we originally were supposed to stop drinking milk when we stopped breastfeeding, but with the introduction of dairy, processed dairy beyond what's needed to birth a child and grow the child, introduce a level of mucus that makes it impossible for kids to breathe through their nose. I'm not saying this because I read something. I'm saying this because that was me. I grew up with asthma and I could never breathe through my nose. And now I read, see, imagine how pissed I'm getting. Understanding fully now that my asthma was caused by diet and environment and coming upon this book, which lets me know that I have, I didn't mature fully because I was never breathing through my nose. My entire childhood was spent with mucus backed up because I was eating ice cream every day, drinking milk every day, trying to get tall because milk does a body good, right? Milk filled my lungs and nostrils with mucus and they diagnosed it as asthma. But we know what's going on. We know because the jig is up, bitches. When I say bitches, I'm talking about the people who convinced me that asthma was a condition I had and not a product of the dairy. You bitches. Okay? Okay? Because the asthma was a product of the consumption. And because of that, I couldn't breathe through my nose. And because of that, I didn't mature fully. Because I wasn't breathing properly. Yes, full oxygenation of the body through the nostrils. You don't think that's going to contribute to the development of the child? Uh, thank you. I pretty much know why I was getting sick all my childhood. I pretty much know why my immune system was suppressed my whole childhood. It's because motherfuckers were making big bucks. Hey, the jig is up. <laughs> the jig is up. The jig is up. I'm gonna skip a few pages because it just gets more interesting. It just... <laughs> look at the drawing. We're just gonna put the drawing up, okay? And look at the facial expression of the mouth breather. <laughs> this is an 1800 book they, pff, I'm telling you it's real okay okay for those who have suffered with weakness of the lungs or other diseases of the chest there needs no proof of this fact and of those if any who are yet incredulous it only requires that they should take a candle in their hand and look at their friends sleep and snoring and with the nightmare or without it with their eyes shut and with their mouths wide open, the very pictures of distress or suffering, idiocy and death when nature designed that they should be smiling and soothing, invigorating, for forgetfulness of the fatigues and anxieties of the day, which are dissolving into pleasures and dreamy shadows of the realities gone by. And he gives a, a different facial expression. Okay, let me make sure it hits the light right. So what he just said in the last page was that your facial expression when you sleep has everything to do with what's happening while you're sleeping. So for those who grimace and snore and ah, like this, you're suffering. Yeah, that's how what's happening through with your health throughout the night. And sleep should be like this. Hey, fuck with the fruit. Fuck with the fruit. Fuck with the fruit. Hey. Hey, well, yeah, so things do get passed on from generation to generation. Yes, agree. But fuck with the fruit. Watch it clear up everything. Watch it clear up your pathways. So if you're having trouble breathing through the nose, fuck with the watery fruit. Watch it clear up your... Fuck with some juice. Watch it clear up your pathways. All right. <laughs> All right, okay. Let me go to the beginning of a chapter. You know what? This is crazy. I'm looking for the beginning of a chapter. They're not finding one. This is just one run-on book. That's crazy. It just keeps going. He just keeps hitting it. He just keeps hitting it. You know what? Okay. Oh, interesting. Interesting. These people who talk little and sleep naturally. So he ta he talks a lot about people who talk all day. So I'm 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 one of the people he's making fun of, okay? Because when you spend all day talking, you're also breathing through your mouth. So, best believe, when I'm not on live, I'm trying to zip my lip. 
When I'm not on my phone, I'm trying to zip my lip and breathe through my nose because even this, what he's saying is, for what he's saying, you know, let's 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 rewind it and let's let's go, let's go. Okay. Amongst the brute creations, the tribal people that never open their mouths except for taking their food and drink, their teeth are protected from the air both day and night and seldom decay. But with man, who is talking and laughing at, who is a talking and laughing animal, exposing his teeth to the air a great portion of the day, and oftentimes during the whole of the night, the results are widely different. He is oftentimes toothless at middle age, and in seven cases in ten, in his grave before he is fifty. Wow, in the 1800s, seven out of ten were in their grave before they were fifty. Well, it was different. I guess it was different. If civilized man, with his usual derangements in, and absence of teeth, had been compelled to crop the grass like the oxes and horses as the means of his living and knew not the glorious use of the spoon to what a misery would he have been doomed how long could he exist <laughs> so he's also ragging on us using spoons and forks to eat using tools to eat i i would argue against that too it's unnatural the loss of a tooth or two with those animals would result in their death and how wise and how provident therefore the design of the creator who has provided them with unfailing means of supporting their existence and also the ex 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 instinctive habits intended for the protection of those means amongst the native races they seem to have a knowledge of these facts and the poor indian woman who watches her infant and presses its lips together as it sleeps in its cradle, attracts the ridicule, perhaps, or pity of the passerby, but secures the habit of her progeny, which enables them to command the admiration and envy of the world. See, the moms held their baby's mouths closed so they could breathe through their nose. Try doing that now. You might get CPS all up in your house. You better not video that. You better not video yourself doing that because when you take real good care of your kids, you get them kidnapped. Did you know that? Did you know that if you refuse chemotherapy because you understand what chemotherapy is, you get your kids kidnapped and you get chemotherapy forced into them? Did you know that? Did you, you better not be broadcasting how you're taking care of your kids because they kidnapping kids out here and force feeding them kid chemotherapy. Bruh, you better watch out. You better, you better stay. You better lay low. Hey, yo, you better lay low. Hey, yo, you better lay low. You know why? Because I say so. The FMA, man. <laughs> hey, yo, you better lay low. They kidnapping kids, man. I'm saying it ain't so. <laughs> These people who talk little and sleep naturally have no dentist nor dentrophist, nor do they require either. Why ain't they no dentists in the tribes? Why ain't they dying of tooth disease in the tribes? Why ain't they no dentists out there? Why ain't they no dentists in the indigenous populations? Why? 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 Why do we need the dentist? Keep asking. Keep pulling the thread. You're a frugivore. You're a frugivore. Just pull the thread. Just keep pulling the thread. <clears throat> Let me. Their teeth almost invariably rise from the grums and arrange themselves as regularly as the keys of a piano and without decay or aches preserve their soundness and enamel and powers of mastication to old age. And there are no sufficient reasons assigned yet why the same results or nearly such may not be produced among the more enlightened races by similar means. You know what he understood? He understood that us, us so-called civilized enlightened races of people who live in the cities... We're the savages. You feel me? You waking up now? You waking up to the fact that we're the ones that's living like savages? Oh, you don't think we're the savages? Wait till December rolls around. I got some shit for you. You don't think we act like savages? Wait till holiday season rolls around. See who the real savages are. See who the real savages are. You think that they're the savages living out in nature, eating herbs? And, and living with the animals, and sometimes they eat one, but you think that they're the savages. Okay, see how we act every December. Every time it's the darkest part of the year. How do we get to acting? How do we get to acting when the sunlight is the lowest? Who's the savages? Who starts acting like savages when the sunlight gets the lowest? With our, oh yeah, it's holidays, Merry Christmas, yeah, millions and billions of turkeys die every Thanksgiving, oh, Merry Christmas, hundreds of billions and millions of pigs and chickens dying for holiday Christmas, oh, Merry Christmas, as we overconsume, while half the, half the world population dies of starvation through the cold winter on the other side of the planet, oh, Merry Christmas, oh, you want to talk about who the savages is, who, oh yeah, let's go ahead and let half the world keep dying by the millions 
millions every cold winter while we keep buying PlayStation 4s and 5s and 6s and keep calling them the savages. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Well, he otherwise understands that we're the ones asking like savages, okay? Civilized man may be properly said to be an open-mouthed animal. A wild man is not. Civilized man may be properly said to be an open-mouthed animal. A wild man is not. An Indian warrior sleeps and hunts and smiles with his mouth shut and with seeming reluctance opens it even to speak, even to eat or to speak with reluctance. Reluctance. Well, you could say that it's reluctant or you could say that they understand that this shit's magic. You want me to open this shit? You want me to open this shit? I'm only gonna do it for light. Sorry, I only speak light now. I'm not opening this shit. You think I'm gonna bring this out? You think I'm bring this megaphone out for nothing? I'm bringing this megaphone out for one reason now. See that alignment? I'm bringing this megaphone out for one reason. You got me open my mouth? I got one mission, all right? We either aligned or we ain't aligned. That's it. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all, that's it, that's all I got time for, that's all what time it is, okay? We aligned, all right? Man, okay. An Indian child is not allowed to sleep with its mouth open from the very first sleep of its existence, the consequence of which is that while the teeth are forming and making their first appearance, they meet and constantly feel each other. Dental? When the kids are growing their teeth, the parents of the indigenous population force their mouth to stay closed throughout the night, and their teeth constantly feel each other. Now, I'm not going to go into the neuro neuropathology of having your mandible musculature active as a developing child. I'm not going to go into the power of having your teeth constantly being able to perceive each other and the difference that we have with bottles. I'm not going to go into the brain development differences that may occur. I'm not going to go into the way that the brain development may also have a connection between the brain. Sorry, I forgot to start recording the, the recording the goddamn phone. Sorry. Maybe I'll save this episode. Re All right. Screen. Hi. My name is Coach Jeezy. Welcome to Power of Transformation. This is episode number 56. And today we're reading a book called Shut Your Mouth and Save Your Life by George Cat Carlin. I knew I spelled his damn name wrong. It's Catlin. <laughs> All right, we're screen recording now. All right, we're screen recording now. All right, we gonna we gonna move. You know what? We gonna move it. We gonna move. We gonna move on to the next page with the brute creations, where there is less chance for habits or accidents to make derangements. We see the beautiful system of the regularity of the works of nature's hand and in their soundness and durability, the completeness of her works, which we have no just cause to believe has been stinted in the physical construction of man. The contrast between the two societies of the savage and the civil as regards the perfection and duration of their teeth is quite equal to their bills of mortality already shown. So the, the, the comparison between the dental health between the savage man and the civilized man um, is comparable to the bill of mortality between the savage man and the civilized man. Meaning our teeth go bad quick and we need dental health because our teeth start deteriorating and with that our health. So what he explains is that the mouth is just a representation of the inside of our body. Yes, the mouth is just an extension of the inside of the body. Is not the inside of the mouth equivalent to the inside of my body? So the state of my teeth. The state of my teeth reflect the state of my body. In this book, there is the state, there, there is the truth about our teeth regenerating. I'm just going to leave that there and let you know that if your teeth are deteriorating, your organs are deteriorating. Bingo, boom, shakalaka. Let's, let's put the whole book down and let's just get straight to the molly wop, bingo, boom, shakalaka. Your teeth need to be able to regenerate. And if they're not able to regenerate, ain't shit regenerating, period. At all, okay? Okay? And so when we mix the knowledge of this with the knowledge that we now have with Arnold Errett and Robert Morse and Dr. Sebi, we are now empowered. Like, like it's like the stones in Thor, in 
Thor's hammer. I mean, the sto th stones and Thanos glove. We got Arnold, Eric, Dr. Sebi, this guy talking all the stuff put together and we're like, I have the keys to healing. Meaning, if you take Dr. Robert Morse's school of detoxification and you learn how to freaking regrow shit and grow shit back and grow ragged teeth and you learn that breathing through your nose is the key to oxygenating your body, you got the keys. We now have the keys. We got the keys. And the, the fact that people think that deteriorating teeth is just something that you got to just go to the dentist. I, I got to go to the dentist. Yeah, yeah. Well, this guy just exposed the fact that our teeth should be able to regrow and our teeth have blood flow just like every other bone and organ in the body. And if blood flow to the teeth is halted, leading to the teeth falling off, that means blood flow to everything else is halted, leading to other shit's going to fall off. Like your fucking vitals. <laughs> if your teeth is deteriorating, your vital is probably deteriorating. If you need to be going to the dentist for all these types of shit and they patching up, patching shit up, I gotta go back to the dentist to get this root canal. I gotta go. Other shit's deteriorating because the blood flow to the teeth reflects the blood flow to the organs. And when we constantly, okay, and armed with the truth in this book, when we breathe through our mouth, we deteriorate. These vital organs, see? Surprise! These are vital regenerating organs. They're vital regenerating. I, I, they're vital. Ain't no motherfucking dentist touching my shit. You better motherfucking, you better, you better square up. You, you trying to touch my teeth? You better square up. You better square up. Look, look, you, I'm, I'm in my Taekwondo stance. You trying to put some shit in my mouth? You trying to put some shit in my mouth? Hey, homie, you trying to put some shit in my mouth? You trying to put some shit in my mouth? Huh? You trying to put some shit in my mouth with that? Don't put some shit in my mouth. I'm trying to close my mouth. You trying to put my some shit in my... Um, it's Thai kickboxing. I don't even know how to kickbox. But you trying to put some shit in my mouth? It's time to kickbox. Never mind the heavy metals, bro. With that. Look. See? Now you know what time it is. It's it's wake up. It's wake up or shut up time. <laughs> it's wake up or... Bro, this for Terry guy near to fish said muscle is not healthy. Sorry, said muscle is not healthy. Oh, you mean he you mean he said a lot of muscle is not healthy? Hey man, yin yang. Yin yang. Yin yang. A lot of muscle is not healthy. Too little muscle is not healthy. What what's the balance, Roy? The balance is yin yang. We got a yin yang. Cause even yin yang even yin yang said we can't get too much muscle, but yin yang dictates that we gotta get some muscle. Yin yang dictates that even if something is the shadow, you gotta have some shadow, right? It's a rule. It's a law. It's a law. It's a law. And, and this, this, this is the law of gender in play. So when we talk about the muscle conversation, what? Because, because when you say that muscle is unhealthy, you are you are saying that the masculine is not needed and feminine is enough. Meaning like the the energetics is powerful enough. The energetics is enough. That means the feminine aspect is enough. But we're masculine and feminine. Meaning we're muscular, we're physical, and we're spiritual. We're physical and we're mental. So to that I say balance. That's it. I'm going to balance that out by saying balance. All right? But uh, muscle is just happens to be my job, which is why I'm pro-muscle. Okay? It just happens to be my daily job. So I have a lot of experience and a lot of, to contribute regarding muscle. Not to say it's the most important. It's a yang. It's a yang. And I need the yin. You're my yin. With your tai chi, I need the yin. I just happen to be working on the yang side. Like, I work in the in the... Let's build muscle and let's burn fat. That's my arena. So I speak on that. But I'm not saying that muscle is the only way. I'm saying you better not ignore it. <laughs> because first of all, 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 of, all us fruitarians, you better not ignore the physical exercise aspect. Okay, go ahead, ignore it. Go ahead, ignore it. Go ahead, ignore it. It's just like, it's just like I have my weaknesses too. Like I can't be 100% fruit. All right, you want to ignore the exercise. All right, we all have our shit. We all have shit, right? But eventually, just like anybody that turns 50, it doesn't matter if you're a fruitarian, vegan, carnivore, paleo. When you turn 50, you're going to be like, shit, man, I got to exercise. <laughs> Everybody gets to it. It doesn't matter what your diet. I, I have friends every diet. I have a big network, okay? Everybody gets to the point where you're like, fuck, I got low back pain. I got to start training. Even if you're a fruity, you're like, fuck, all right, I got I to gotta exercise, you know? So... If so, so like my one fruit friend, his exercise is his passion. He he found a way to travel and break dance. 
the homie, he just break dances. That's exercise. So I'm not even saying you have to lift weights. It could be break dancing. Okay, so um, let's not be too over muscular here. I'm not. I'm. I definitely understand that uh, I'm over muscular and too much of that. So dancing, break dancing is even a form of exercise. So figure out what the hell you like to do. You know. But yeah, man. Hey, we are. Are we? It's. This is the great awakening. See, we're we're alive at a time where some great truths are upon us, and they're being stamped out. And the way they're being stamped out is books. Like books. Books are being burned. Physically, digitally, you know, so um, the book I was reading, let's keep going through it. It's, it's fun. It's straight up fun. It's straight up fun going through this, all right? Um, <laughs> but I wish it was, right? It, I wish it was um, organized by chapters. It's not. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a 111, let me see exactly how many pages. It's a... It's 110 pages straight. <laughs> Man, I'm over here trying to organize my book, trying to come up with an intro, chapters, like get a get a get a freaking conclusion going. I'm trying to write my book backwards, write it forward, brainstorm. I'm trying to mind map, trying to get the chapter down. It's 110 pages straight. <laughs> with some pictures in there. And it's the most powerful shit. Let me go to the beginning, right? Shouldn't we read from, like, page one? Like, shouldn't we read from page one? I don't, I don't know. I'm just looking for some, some interesting stuff here. <sighs> uh, yeah, no, no, no. We can regrow teeth. If, if you need to, if you really actually need the ways, DM me. Yeah, we can regrow teeth. Yes, yes, yes. There's videos on it. People have done it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you were, we're Wolverine. Trust and believe that. Hey, our ability to regrow teeth is connected to our ability to detox. Our ability to regel regenerate and heal is connected to our ability to detox. Detox equals healing. Detox equals healing. So, so it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. But like, see, so, okay, so let me, let me speak on that a little bit, okay? Let me speak on that. So somebody who is asking to regrow their teeth has already reached such an advanced level of toxification that any efforts that they made to directly regrow their teeth would probably be left cleaning up some other area of their body and what I'm saying is their teeth getting healthy would be the very last thing that would come to fruition after their detoxing journey. It would be a long time. Regrowing teeth is something that is written about in, my, in the post that I wrote about all the detoxification symptoms. We're talking about deep, deep, deep detoxification symptoms. And in order to get to that level, it takes either time or a holistic, multi-dimensional, um, multi-pronged approach. Meaning like you would have to do one of those things where you travel to another country and stay out in nature and do that whole thing, right? If you wanted to get straight to the root of detoxification, okay? So what I'm saying is regrowing teeth is a very, very deep level of work, okay? Because the teeth are the last thing that your body wants to break down. So by the time your teeth start breaking down, you're already, your health is already to hell in a handbasket because what the fuck do you think your body is thinking you gonna do without teeth? Your body over here like, well shit, well shit, Gerald, if we lose the teeth, it's, it's, we're not gonna be able to peel the mangoes open. You, it's gonna be straw time. And your body's like, how are we gonna eat? <laughs> Your body's trying to preserve the teeth, so by the time you start seeing tooth decay, this is why, um, let's talk about the crystal meth. This is why the teeth fall out in people who are nutrient deficient. Why didn't my teeth fall out? Because I, I, my mom took care of me nutritionally, okay? But crystal meth causes people's teeth to fall out because we're talking about such a level of toxification that your body needs to rob minerals 
from the thing that masticates the minerals? Do you understand the level of hostility and, and internal strife the body has to have gotten to, to come to to decide that we're going to take minerals from the organ that takes in minerals? You mother, do you understand? Like when you're when it's time to start pulling minerals from your teeth, your body is drowning for minerals. Your body is dying for minerals, and it has made the decision that it is time to start sacrificing teeth and bone to mineralize the body. And I was just lucky that when I was smoking crystal, I only did it for one year, so I didn't start taking minerals from my teeth. Okay, so in order for you to regrow the minerals of the teeth, you have to be completely mineralized for a number of years. And what have I been talking about in the last 50 videos? Communing with the earth, getting these minerals in the fo form of photons or lights or the etheric form, in the water form or from the fruit, from the distilled water, in the solid form, from the food, from the earthing, right? From the freaking getting your body in the dirt. We're talking about mineralizing. We're talking about mineralizing, all right? And so when your teeth start, um, when, when you get to the point where your teeth are decaying, you're already deficient in minerals. And, uh, and I'm sorry to say, but all of our food in our country is deficient in minerals. The more you look into it, the more you realize we're not getting minerals in our food. That's why we have to supplement with minerals. I'm not talking about powders. I'm not talking about like uh, mix it with water and drink it. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about we need some, well, some of these mineral powders, and by the way, all of these mineral supplements that I'm talking about come how they're found in nature. So don't give me none of this. Don't give me none of this lab. Don't give me none of this because um, zeolite, it's volcanic ash. Diatomaceous earth, that's diatoms. Okay? Uh, bentonite clay, it's clay. It's dirt. Okay, she legit, it's, it's on the top of a mountain. It's like the, the sex oil of a mountain. <laughs> it's found as it is in nature. So the supplements I'm talking about are found as they are in nature. So if I start selling some shit, understand where I'm coming from. It's found how, is it, how it is in nature. All right? If I'm selling some shit, it's just because I'm tired of sending you to some other dude to, to profit their company. And I'm just like, shit, I might as well sell you my shit. All right, but it's going to be how it is found in nature. All right. Oh, smoking cannabis effects on teeth. Vape that shit. If you're concerned about that, vape that shit. But I've, I've never met anybody who's, who teeth fall, fall out because they smoked. So, but if you're concerned about it, vape it. No problem. Yeah, yeah, great. Awesome. Yeah, so the companies use bentonite clay, so we can just go straight to the source of bentonite. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of... of Finding out what supplements work and then going to the source and buying them in, in wholesale. Like, I got wholesale shit at my house. Like, I got like a pound of Beltonite clay. I got like, 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 I get like a pound of tea. I, I get, I get wholesale shit. So I don't, I don't buy finished products. I, I, I'm about to make finished products. I, I, my, my thinking is like, I'm, I'm, I'm done like buying finished products. Like, I, I go to the source and if, if I, if I, if I fuck with a finished product, it's gonna be my finished product. Is that, is that wrong? I, I'm just getting to that level. I'm almost 30. I'm just like, all right, I'm ready to, to, to join the, the marketplace and start to give what I got. You know, it's just like, you know, like, I, you know, just like this. This you, Roy, you giving what you got. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The clay, yeah, doing the shower. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure, man. Yeah, but at 4 o'clock, uh, I got a special guest on. We're going to talk about um, food is medicine. We're going to talk about Dr. Robert Morse. We're going to talk about um, the homie, um, you know, just getting his grandma out of a, a, a hurtful, painful situation and, and guiding her himself and, um, and a powerful story. So um, I, I, want to, I want you guys to hear from him. Um, and yeah, uh, um, the topic I'm on is food is medicine. You better assassinate me. Food is medicine, ho. You didn't scare me with that. You, 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 I don't care how many new, holistic doctors they assassinate. I'm not gonna, it's not going to chill me into silence. You see that? You see you see where this the the reporting goes when you start, "Oh, the holistic doctor died." Oh, yeah, yeah. You're not going to chill me into silence cuz I know where the power is at. It's in speaking out about the shit. Speaking out about the shit.
Hello? Surprise? Time to speak out about this shit. You're not going to chill me into freaking subversion. I'm not going to freaking go back to using toothpaste. <laughs> hey. Hey. A mixed... Uh, 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 let's go. Page 17. All right. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, I'm not going to leave this out. I'm not going to leave this out. I'm not going to leave this out. This tribe subsists chiefly on buffalo meat and Indian corn or maize, which they raise to a considerable extent. Amongst two million of these wild people whom I visited, I never saw or heard of a hunchback or crooked spine, though my inquiries were made in every tribe, nor did I ever see a lunatic or idiot amongst them, though I heard some three or four during my travels and perhaps of as many, maybe three or four deaf and dumb. You know how many deaf and dumb we have? You know how many lunatics we have? What he's pointing to is that how come in these tribes they don't have as many lunatics as we? We have hospitals filled with them. Mental people. We have hospitals filled with deaf people. Why? What's up with all these birth defects? Could they be connected to lifestyle? Could they be connected ju to just the way we breathe? Hey. See, it's the screen recording. I'm going to have to stop the screen recording. Fuck it. Oh my goodness. It wasn't even screen recording. See? It's going choppy. It's not even screen recording. I just swiped up to stop the screen recording. And it wasn't even recording. So, you know, whatever. That's what happens when you come with the heat. I'm not tripping, whatever. Come with. I'm coming with the heat. I'm coming with the heat. Hey, you know what? I'm going to back out. I'm going to try to save this. We got a conversation happening at in in eighty minutes. Oh well, I appreciate. Hey, I appreciate. I appreciate you screen recording. I appreciate you so much screen recording. Thank you. Hey, but but uh, real talk. I'm gonna give you guys a chance to like get do your get your popcorn right now. Get your fruit ready um, for the conversation that's gonna happen at four o'clock. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to just let my phone rest so we can have full signal, full battery um, for the homie uh, who's coming on to talk about um, food is medicine. All right. School International School of Detoxification, Robert Morse certified. The homie's coming on. We're talking about food is medicine. We're talking about uh, Big Pharma. It might get deleted. So fuck it. I don't care. I don't care if it gets deleted because shit got to get said and hopefully someone's going to screen record. Oh, the homie's right here. So Param Body. <laughs> um, the homie, um, Param Body. And we're also going to talk about what Param Body means. And I want to know what Param body represents. What what does that mean? Uh, what does Sanskrit mean? You know, so um, we'll go into all that in 80 minutes, okay? So cut your fruit up. Get your fruit ready. Get your mu music ready. Um, and I'm going to see you guys back in one hour and 20 minutes. All right? One hour and 20 minutes. And we're going to just chill and... Yeah, and let's just, I'm um, looking forward to it too. Looking forward to it too. Um, and let's just hope the signal stays game tight, all right? And I'm going to try to save this combo. This combo got to go up too, all right? Peace, you guys. Peace, peace, peace.